Hello everybody, this is Aiden and Dad, and... We're doing another Caden Life Q&A. Woo! So, Dad, we recently uploaded my uh, camera unboxing, and I noticed that there was a custom thumbnail. Could you teach us how to do that? Sure. Let's look at our last demo video here. If you remember, this was the one with the split screens. Let's start by getting a screen capture of this spot right here. In this case, we want to be in the, in, the, in the project monitor. But if you use proxy clips here, be very careful because then this quality is very bad. Uh, you know, it, it could be a lot worse than what your best quality is. So maybe if you got proxy set, so in here, in your project settings, Maybe you want to uncheck the proxy clips for this bit. Um, you'll see a P here if there's proxy set and, uh, and so on. Just make sure that the video that's here is not proxied. Okay, so click on a spot where you want to make a screen capture, a screenshot for the background. And then come here to the spot here and extract frame and let's just go here to my book that's getting live demos and we'll call this one split screen uh, background just like that and I like to bring them in here, even though for this exercise it's not necessary. Just so we know what, what we use in this project. This will be saved in our project file as well. And we want to do a few things with this before we even make the thumbnail. So bring it down here. And you'll see it looks exactly like that spot there. Obviously it's a screen capture, right? But we don't like the dark spots. We Normally in, in thumbnails you want to take away the stuff you don't like. So like this here, I don't like. Um, so that is easily fixed. Let's first go and we're just going to grab this one. And don't worry about that error there. Um, and I'm going to reuse this. Let's say delete that. And I'm going to put a lot of spaces in between. And you'll see why now. Let's center that. Maybe a little. It might be enough, but let's just do one more for good measure. So, since this is a split screen, let's just save in the project only. Let's bring it down here. Throw it on top, and I just want to change this again to composite. Okay, now you see why I did that. I, this is Aiden's side, and I know he's, he's the guy with the diamond pick, and I'm the guy that puts my sword in the second spot. So this is my 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 side of the split screen. That's his. Now the other thing we want to do is we want to light up this very dark spots in, in thumbnails on the background. You want to make the, the picture pop a little, since it's such a small picture, uh, very dark pictures don't make good thumbnails. So for that, there's two ways you can do that. Um, you use the color correction. So you got curves and levels. Let's see. Levels is the one I like. And let's just put it maybe in the bottom left. Uh, and the histogram is just a, a thing that shows you the breakdown of the colors. And we'll just use it as a guide. Um, you want to make sure this, by default it says Luma. You'll see, you can pick either red, green or blue there. We want Luma. And the input white level is what we're going to adjust. Now you'll see this arrow here showing the input white level and see how it moves but see also what it does to the photo in the background see how it lightens it up it makes it pop and around the middle here you don't want to cut too many of these colors out there 
but this space where there's very little going on. It's basically just darkness, I think. You want to take some of that out, and if you, you'll see if you overdoes it, then it blows out the colors here. You don't want to do that either. So, dial it a little back. In this case, 500 is probably the sweet spot, and we got to look at both because it, this is one picture now. So around there, maybe a little less. We just want to uncheck this. Let's now save this. We extract the frame again. And that, that was our background. And this is going to be our second background, our sort of improved background. Let's just put it to there. And now we're going to make a new tunnel. Import that background. And yeah, that's pretty decent. Let's uh, start writing something. Now you want to start with a big font. Let's do 100. Always start at the top left, sort of, of your picture. Let's do Caden Live. Colon. Now do. Let me take that out. Do. Split. Screens. Okay, let's move this to the top left of there you always want to make this font sort of as big as you can because it is meant for a thumbnail which is typically very small and i'm just looking for but actually we don't have to do that since we have this nice feature right i don't want to put it too low over the so it goes over the nice bits here, the nice colory bits. R roughly there is fine. Let's set it again like that. Okay, wh what else can we do? Since this is Kaden Live, let's import a Kaden Live logo. You might remember the one we used for the watermarks. And I'm going to bring it down here. And the easiest way to, to make this, I want to make this a little bigger, is to go here. And let's just change it to 200%. Um, we can probably get away with 300%. Yep. And it's a little jaggy now, but in a thumbnail, this is going to look fine. Maybe a little up like that. And actually, now that I think of it, let's make a color of the font. A uh, version of that blue there. We get our color picker here again. And I just like the darker blues there. Immediately it will do all that. A white outline is always good. It makes your text pop a little bit. And you could pick how much of it you want to put very fine. I like 15. That's good. And let's say OK. And this one we're gonna just rename as thumbnail. Bring this down. And I just only just delete that. But there it is. And one last step is to again just remember this is just a title in our project now. But the final step is to extract the frame again. And we'll go back to our demo folder. And now we can say, make this as a thumbnail. Name this as a final thumbnail. There we go. Let's see if we got a filer open here. So, split screen thumbnail, this one. Now, this is 100%, so this is what it looks full size 1280 by 720. And I think that's pretty decent. And if we shrink it down as much as this view will allow us to, like that, it's still very nice, right? 
Okay. That's it for this one. So in that video, Dad showed us how to do thumbnails in Caden Live. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.